McDowell Mountain Regional Park is one of the jewels in the Maricopa County Regional Park System. With its fabulous views of four peaks and rich desert flora, it's a wonderful place to visit or to live. This pond in the park is about to become home for some very special and endangered little fish. The Gila top minnow used to be the most common fish in the uh, lower deserts of Arizona, but now are reduced to about 14 populations in the wild and about a few dozen reestablished populations. Desert pupfish were lost from the wild in the 1950s, and what few populations we do have left in Arizona either reside in captive refugium sites or reestablished populations in the wild. What allows these endangered fish to be placed in this particular pond is the Safe Harbor Agreement, and this is the first time the Arizona Game and Fish Department has been able to reestablish an endangered species in a regional park. The agreement allows non-federal landowners to participate in conservation and recovery efforts of these endangered species by providing habitat for establishing new populations. We're able to do this really because of the Safe Harbor Agreement and anytime you're dealing with endangered species um, and introducing them, it, there's a concern from the land manager of uh, what, uh, what the requirements are for the land management manager in the future and the Safe Harbor Agreement allows, that, allows us to do this, gives us the latitude if we need to change the direction of the park, modify the pond in, in any way or eliminate the pond, then we have um, a way to do that through the Safe Harbor Agreement. To stock this pond, more than 100 top minnow were brought in from the Cottonwood Spring lineage from southern Arizona, and about the same amount of pupfish came from the Phoenix Zoo. They were transported in coolers with aerators to make sure the fish have enough oxygen. Once on site, the biologists temper the water in the coolers by slowly changing it out with water from the pond. This allows the fish to gradually adapt to their new surroundings before they're actually released. The process can take some time, but it's worth it to reduce the risk of the fish going into shock. After about an hour of transferring the new water in and the old water out, while also checking the temperature and pH levels, the fish are ready to be released, one small bucket at a time. These ponds provide a good opportunity for us to work with private and non-federal landowners, uh, folks that normally wouldn't be able to participate in uh, recovery actions directly. But now through these agreements, they have certain guarantees on land management use and are able to provide new and secure habitat, safe harbors for these fishes. Finding a suitable pond like this in the Sonoran Desert isn't easy. This pond, the Pemberton Pond, has an interesting history all its own. We're here in McDowell Mountain Regional Park. Uh, it's a county park, one of the 10 regional parks operated by Maricopa County. Mm -hmm. 
And this particular site is the original homestead of the Pemberton Ranch, which was established in 1917 and operated uh, the Pemberton Ranch from 1917 until 1935, sold it and then became the P. Bar Ranch. And this area was grazed up until the mid 90s. But during its heyday, uh, which was up until the mid 50s, uh, cattle would be driven down from northern Arizona and would stop here before they reached the markets in Phoenix and would uh, put on some weight they lost during the cattle drive. And the Pemberton Ranch uh, charged them a dollar a head and a penny a pound. And um, so they would stop here and graze for a month or so, several weeks. And then they'd be driven on down to um, the area that is now known as the Stockyards at 40th Street and, and Washington in Phoenix. This pond, which is fed by an old well that had been dug on the property, is one of the few physical signs that a ranch was once here. Now it takes on new significance as one of the few homes of Gila top minnow and desert pupfish. Well, we love the idea of having endangered species uh, introduced to our ponds. We think it's a real win-win situation. Uh, we've always been concerned about West Nile virus and uh, mosquitoes using these ponds um, for spawning grounds. But um, by having the pupfish and top minnow in, they eliminate that problem. Uh, it is an opportunity for us to assist the um, uh, re-establishment of large populations of those endangered species here in Arizona. And so it helps us, uh, helps Arizona Game and Fish, and we think it's a win-win partnership between the two of us. Once this new population is established, it will provide an additional source of these fishes for future translocations to other sites, thereby expanding the species range. Top minnow and pupfish are really good neighbors. Uh, they provide uh, a vector control, so they help control mosquitoes and reduce our risk with the uh, West Nile virus. For the first two years, we hope to establish a couple ponds, such as this, Pemberton Pond, that are large sites that are gonna be able to produce lots of fish. And in turn, those sites are gonna be able to be sources for fish for future stockings.